Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2020 talking about the brand new and upcoming Transformers Studio Series figures and much to my surprise it is only the second day in the new year and we already have some brand new Transformers Studio Series announcements which come to us as a formed listing on a distribution website that distributes different figures out to different wholesalers. This particular distribution list confirms two previously rumoured figures which I now believe to be 100% confirmed as well as rumours two upcoming figures. The first two figures that we already knew about was a Voyager class Sentinel Prime as well as a Voyager class Scrapper. Scrapper has been confirmed for some time now as he will form one of the limbs of Devastator so he doesn't come to much of a surprise to me. It is really Sentinel Prime that has now really been solidated within the Studio Series announcement list and we also get two announcements which we had no idea on and this is a Transformers Studio Series Voyager class Blitzwing a much anticipated figure that many of us have wanted for some time, as well as a Transformers Voyager class Skipjack. I'm going to be breaking down each of their announcements right now, discussing each of the figures and how I think that Hasbro will go about their particular releases. Starting things off with one of the more well-known releases from this new announcement list, here we have a Voyager class Scrapper. Now for those of you who may recall, Scrapper was in a very short sequence within the Revenge of the Fallen movie, mainly when Sam and Michaela were running around through the buildings in order to avoid Starscream. He was merely there as a distraction in order to blow up a few buildings using his mace weapon and I've got to say from the glimpses that we did see of his design he definitely did look like a really interesting looking character. I was definitely a massive fan of the type of whip weapon that he used in order to attack Sam and Michaela and I really hope that the new Voyager class Scrapper will in fact have one of those weapons when it gets its eventual Voyager class release. The only image we have of the Scrapper figure is a very bad prototype that was unveiled at MCM London and Comic Con it's made out of a blue and purple type of plastic as it's still within the really early stages of production. We only get to see this figure within his Devastator limb mode so we have no idea whatsoever what he'll look like in his robot mode whether or not he'll even look like how he did in the movie or whether or not Hasbro may take creative license from his design much like they did with both Scrap Metal and Hightower. I personally hope that we do in fact get a more movie accurate look to how he appeared in the very few scenes we see in Revenge of the Fallen as he's one of the more interesting looking Constructicon designs. The next figure to be leaked is that of a Voyager class Sentinel Prime, a character which we knew a few months ago was on the horizon and one that I definitely think many fans will be after as Sentinel Prime was one of the key characters to come out of the Dark of the Moon movie and once again is a design that has really resonated well with fans. I for one am definitely excited about this latest announcement, however I've got to say that I'm slightly underwhelmed that Sentinel Prime will be in fact given the Voyager class treatment rather than the leader class treatment and I'll give you my reasons for why that is. Sentinel Sentinel Prime was a very big character in the movie, being even taller than Optimus Prime, very similar to Megatron. He's also a really large vehicle mode, that being a Rosenbauer fire truck, so he is roughly the same size as the Dark of the Moon Megatron's Mack truck with the actual trailer on it, so he really should be a leader class figure if Hasbro are going for scale. The only reason in behind why I believe or think that they could potentially be doing this Voyager class figure is because he's going to be slightly bigger than some of the regular Voyagers, more in line with perhaps the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Megatron and I do maybe think that perhaps his vehicle mode will be sized down and he's only going to be to scale within robot mode. I think that perhaps if they were to do a leader class Sentinel Prime and have his vehicle mode really large it could potentially compromise the look of how Sentinel will appear in robot mode and I've always said that I would much rather Hasbro sacrifice the vehicle mode in order to give us a more movie accurate looking robot mode. As of this date, we have no images of how this Voyager Sentinel Prime will look like, so perhaps the figure is completely garbage, or perhaps it is one of the best figures to ever come out from the Studio Series. As of this date, we just do not know, but upon first impressions, I for one definitely would have preferred a leader class figure. And now for a listing that I'm sure many of you will be thrilled with, a Voyager class Bumblebee movie Blitzwing. Blitzwing is by far one of the most highly requested characters to come out from the Studio Series ever since he made his debut in the 2018 Bumblebee solo movie. And finally, we have proof and confirmation that Blitzwing is finally coming out. This will give us the three main Decepticons that appeared within the Bumblebee movie, really rounding off the main villain cast from that B-movie. Hopefully now with the release of this character, we'll begin to see some more Cybertronian characters, as we haven't got any Cybertron-related characters from this movie, 
Besides Optimus Prime, however, I do believe he's probably based more on how he looked towards the ending of the Bumblebee movie than rather he did on those Cybertron sequences. But nevertheless, I'm thrilled with this reveal from Hasbro. I think putting him in the Voyager class scale really will be a great addition to the collection. I think he'll scale greatly with some of the other figures. I'll be really intrigued to see how they manage to make the cockpit transform accurately. As in the movie, Blitzwing does have rather an odd looking cockpit design where it goes straight and then down across his chest. So I'll be really intrigued to see whether or not Hasbro can execute that on a Voyager figure, but definitely a character that I am highly anticipating. And now the final announcement that I have is indeed a Voyager class Skipjack, a character and a figure that I have wanted ever since the first Voyager class Rampage figure was released. Those of you who have recently watched my 2019 Studio Series ranking video will know that I thought incredibly highly of the Voyager class Rampage and I'm so glad that this figure is in fact going to be getting a re-release in a brand new yellow colour scheme to match his off-screen appearance as Skipjack. Now he was briefly seen on screen as Skipjack in this sequence here as you can see that small yellow constructor con that is next to long haul is in fact skipjack he is more or less just a yellow version of rampage we never see the character actually transform within the movie but he is simply just a repaint of that character of rampage so i'm pretty sure that he's just going to be a repaint of the voyager class rampage from last year which i personally am fine with as as i stated that voyager class is incredibly strong and it will just overall make the studio series devastator more accurate as the actual leg of devastator in the movie was yellow and not red so it's fantastic to see that we are in fact getting a more movie accurate looking color scheme for our devastator and also another release of rampage i for one cannot wait to add this character to my collection and be sure to let me know what you think of this particular repaint and so that's all the news I have regarding the new upcoming Transformers Studio Series of 2020 and this is my first news coverage of the Studio Series line from this year. Personally, I think that we have got some great leaked listings, more or less confirmed announcements I would say, of both Sentinel Prime who was already rumoured last year as well as Scrapper who we already knew was coming quite a few years ago now I believe when Devastator was first unveiled, so 2018. And of course we have got the fantastic reveal of a Studio Series Voyager class Blitzwing, a character which many of us have been after ever since he made his debut in the Bumblebee movie, and a more accurately coloured Devastator limb in the form of Skipjack, a character which I actually am a massive fan of the CGI model and was a huge fan of the original Voyager class Rampage. I really do hope and I would actually be rather happy if they just took that figure and repainted him in a yellow colour scheme. I really don't feel as if they should do any major mould changes unless they want to, perhaps to improve the mould, perhaps to give him elbow articulation but I really doubt that they would do that but definitely as it stands I'm definitely happy with the announcements that we have got so far and would be really interested in hearing your thoughts and whether or not you're happy with some of these announcements I honestly cannot wait for 2020 to really kickstart within the studio series as I think we're going to be getting some incredible figures in this year I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next video I'll see you then thanks for watching